Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jessica and I love clothing. I love fashion. I love just getting in my closet and experimenting, making outfit combinations. I do shop a lot and so I created this channel as something to help me curb that so that I am not shopping as much. I really do want to work on not consuming as much and not purchasing as many items and bringing as much into my wardrobe. I will always shop. I love shopping. It's been one of my favorite activities for many, many years, but I am striving to improve and be better and be more thoughtful about what I do purchase. So I created this channel to help me get in my closet and play around and spend time in my closet creating outfits instead of out shopping. Normally on a day like today, instead of making this video, I would be up on the couch online shopping or I would be out and about in the stores looking at what's available. And so it's been a great thing for me and it's definitely helped. I do still shop, like I said, but this has definitely helped me not purchase as much and as often. And it's just been super fun. I really do enjoy getting in my closet and messing around with what I already have and hoping that maybe in sharing my outfit inspiration that I get and have fun within my closet that I can inspire someone else as well. So if that sounds good to you and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I thought it would be super fun to do a video where I style some of my kimonos. Many of the kimonos that you'll see today I've had for a really long time. There's definitely a strong floral theme. So I'm not sure if that's just my preference or I don't know what the deal is with all the floral, but they're, the majority of the kimonos today are floral kimonos, but I'm going to show you two ways. I'm gonna show you a casual way to wear them and then also a dressier way. So a lot of the dressier ways, most of them I would likely wear those to work, but I do wanna share some outfit combinations with you that are not so dressy, that are more on the casual side for summer and kimonos are just a great piece to have in your wardrobe that add a little something extra to an outfit, can give you a little bit of coverage from the sun or a little bit if you're a little chilly. Kimonos are a great item and I, would love to share with you some of the outfit combos that I came up with with the kimonos that I have in my closet. So let's take a look. So for the look that I'm wearing today, the first look is this floral sleeveless. It just has a ruffle sleeve blouse from TJ Maxx with my lilac floral high-low kimono that I picked up from Forever 21, I believe a summer or two ago and I put it with my light lavender high-waisted shorts from Walmart, white heel sandals, just a little heel from Walmart, and my purple round bag from Walmart as well. And I would have never thought initially to put a floral on top of a floral, but I quite like how it turned out and I think it's just a really fun look for summer. <laughs> dressier option. I just swapped out the blouse and shorts for this light purple LuLaRoe t-shirt dress, which is just a great lightweight, easy to throw on dress for summer. I've had this for quite a while um, and I do roll up, I tuck under the sleeves a little bit in the outfit so that it's not hanging below the sleeves of the kimono. And then again, finished it with the purple round bag from Walmart. And I just kept on my same shoes, the white sandals for this look. This next look for the casual outfit, I have this gray sleeveless, just round neck button up high waist romper from Rue 21. I got this last year and to put over it this kimono it is just a cream floral brown gray lots of different colors in the floral on this and 
and I picked this up at Fashion 15 a few years ago and paired it with my gray silver sandals. These are American Eagle. I've had them for years and years and years. And then finished it off with this backpack brown bag. And this was gifted from my sister-in-law for Christmas. <laughs> things up a bit with this cream kimono. I paired it with this really pretty light dusty pink t-shirt looking dress. I have, I believe this is from Ross. I've had this for several years and I do whenever I wear these types of form-fitted dresses, I always put my slip dress underneath. It's just a cap sleeve. I got this from Down East. I've had this for several years. Very, very handy undergarment if you're um, looking for one. They are wonderful and very versatile to have. And I just thought it paired really nicely with this floral. And I thought it would be really fun to finish it off with this gray hat. This is just a gray lightweight hat that I picked up from Walmart. Super fun. I love hats. Even though I can't wear them to work, I would probably pair this with the casual look as well. The next look, I have this floral kimono with the pretty black lace detail along the front on both sides. And this is several years old from Ross. I thought it would be really cute to pair it with this black jumpsuit, um, just a shorts jumper from Old Navy and put it with, I would just put probably some black flip flops with this, which I don't have down here at the moment. And I would also pair it with this straw bag, just a great bag for summer. If you've been on my channel before, you've seen this baby for sure. <laughs> dress this kimono up and just bring out play off of the really pretty red flowers. I put it with the red shift dress from Maurice's. This is a, more of a hot tamale red. I'm not sure if it's going to come off on camera that way, but this dress has been one of my absolute favorite finds from Maurice's that I have ever purchased from there. Absolutely love it. And it's just super fun color for summer. And to keep things on the dressy side, I put it with my block heel faux suede strappy front heels from Maurice's as well. this really pretty green olive green kimono with the fringe at the bottom and I've had this for a very long time this is from Ross and it just has really pretty floral print um, the coral color and hot pink I for the casual look teamed it with these paper bag waist shorts that tie and to bring out the coral this coral cami bright neon coral cami from Maurice's and for the casual look I'm going to finish it off with these brown flats from Walmart. These are a recent purchase and I believe you, I got them for about 15 bucks at Walmart. Very comfortable and they're pretty on trend right now as well. To play off the coral in this look I added my coral colored structured bag that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I just think it adds a nice little pop of color and a contrast against the green. To dress up this kimono, I am going to pair it with 
my hot pink slip dress that I picked up from Forever 21. I've had this for quite a long time. And to tie in with the pop of color, I'm going, I've added this hot pink magenta looking straw bag. This was a recent purchase from Walmart a couple of months ago. And then when in doubt, I really didn't have a shoe that matched exact. And so I'm just going to use my light tan nude colored mules from Sheen. So to get a little relief from all the floral print that we've been seeing today, I am going to style up this polka dot long kimono from Forever 21. I've had this for a few years. And on the casual side, I thought it would be really cute with just a plain black bodysuit. This is uh, from Ross. I got this recently. It was on clearance for three or four bucks, but it does the job. And I'm going to team it with these black linen-ish looking. They look and feel like linen, but I believe it's just a linen blend. They have a belted waist. And I'm going to, I got these from... Fashion 15. So I'm going to put that together. Add a pop of color. I am going to put it with my red espadrilles from Amazon. And just to give a little fun accessory instead of a bag on this look, I'm going to put it with this uh, black hat. And I believe I picked this up from Walmart as well. So um, I've had this for quite a while too. <music> dressy option on this kimono, I'm going to just throw it over a long black slip dress and I'm going to keep the shoes the same, probably keep the hat as well. And that is going to be our dressy look for this black and white polka dot kimono. <music> is from Maurice's. It's quite a few years old. I've had it for a while. I love all of the fun colors. There's a really pretty mustard yellow, the coral, the pretty greens. Lots of different items can be paired with this just because of the colors in it. It also has navy. So for this casual look, I want to put it with this really pretty dark green bodysuit. I got this from Ross. I've had it for quite a while. And to contrast with the floral, I wanted to pair it with these mustard yellow shorts, the tie waist, love the detail on these, and they're just really, really comfortable and breathable for summer. And then to finish it off with these pointed toe mustard color flats, I've had these for a little while from JCPenney. They are super comfortable and I just thought they went really well with this outfit. And when in doubt on a bag, grab your trusty straw bag because it just screams summer. And I just think this guy, it goes with everything. <laughs> option for this kimono is this peach fitted dress. It's a v-neck. This is from Old Navy. If any of the items that I have mentioned in this video are still available, of course I'll link them. Several of the items, the majority of the items, have been in my wardrobe for a really long time, but this is a fairly recent purchase from Old Navy, and I thought that it would look really nice with these nude colored mules. So that is going to be this look. And again, I am going to finish it off with the straw bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at this look. Thank you so much for watching this video today. That's going to do it for my kimono looks. I hope you're enjoying the summer 
and that these outfits will give you some inspiration of ways that you can wear some of the kimonos that you might have in your closet. I know I wear them sometimes and I go through phases where I don't think to wear them and I've just been seeing a lot of images on Pinterest and that's what inspired me to get in my closet and play with some of the ones that I have. So have a great week. Until next time, I'll see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you.